Most of my work falls under an umbrella concept that I call uh, wabi-sabi. It's a Japanese concept and it's really finding beauty in things that are uh, part of that natural cycle of growth and decay and renewal. And though it has played out in a variety of work, I don't do any work that doesn't have a connection to that concept. So um, the first series that I did was all about water, water reflections. And the reason that appealed to me under that wabi-sabi concept is that it was, it was an ephemeral concept that um, what you were seeing on the surface of the water really didn't exist. It wasn't in the water, wasn't above the water. It was just what the camera saw and then what my eyes saw when I printed the picture. The next series was all about tree rings. I do a lot of walking. I do a lot of walking in forest. I see a lot of tree stumps and I, I really love the patterns that have developed in those over a long period of time and that still exist now as these things are dead or dying. That series has um, evolved into many pieces that explore that kind of more abstract patterning, but it's still connected to the natural world. The third series that evolved from that was all about leaves, pods, natural objects that I was also picking up and collecting. And the thing that makes those more wabi-sabi is that often it would be a very small leaf, like a, a linden leaf, which is a little heart-shaped leaf. And I would find these leaves in the fall when they were on the ground and they'd been eaten into lace by, by the um, Japanese beetles. So I took those pieces, those leaves, and made them big. And by looking at them big and shaping them so that they still had sort of a natural feel to them, I combined them into just big groupings together so that you really noticed the beauty of these things that most people would have just thought was detritus at the end of summer. So that led to another series where I took the old Japanese fabric that I collected that's called boro, and boro is uh, indigo dyed fabrics that have been, that are like um, vintage, well-worn, patched, patched and stitched and patched some more and stitched some more so they end up being just by their utilitarian nature, a very beautiful background for things. So I decided I would try photographing the boro with objects that had that wabi-sabi spirit again. And that led to a series of these 42 stitched pieces that um, explore that from first the objects and then objects and leaves and leaves and something else, and it just kind of keeps connecting to previous work. And then that led to another interpretation, which would I call beautiful faces, and that's um, either old statues or um, found images of faces that I think really have, um, again, that spirit of quietness or they're old or they're decaying because they've been, they're antiques and they're not in complete form anymore. I love doing that very close up stitching. It's layers and layers of tiny little stitches with a, a home sewing machine just back and forth, back and forth, doing layer upon layer of color. Um, and those have been very satisfying and I can frame those which for some reason when they're framed people uh, accept them as art more easily than when they were just a textile piece hanging on the wall.